Thank you very much for the time given to me. My topic is adjectival appreciations in Toga Bata language. This is a structural approach morphologically. In other words, this is a descriptive analysis of adjectives. The first thing that I want to say about the background of my study is that language as a communication tool must be understood by speakers. Why do I say so? Because no communication is done by using just base words. Sometimes we need to modify those kind of bases. So the focus here is adjectives. Now here I have five sub topics. The first is a brief note on appreciations. The second is a brief note on adjectives. The third is data classification and validity. The fourth is findings and discussions. And the last is conclusion. Right, here is a brief note of appreciation. First, we must understand what is meant by appreciation. Appreciation derives from the word affix. Appreciation is the process of attaching affixes to base words. Commonly, there are four types of affixes in languages. The first is prefix, the second is infix, the third is suffix, and the fourth is confixes. Talking about morphological process, we can combine to pick with frimophil plus palmophil. Now, here is a brief note on adjectives. What is really the meaning of adjectives? Adjectives is a word used to modify pronoun or noun. In other words, we may say adjective functions to explain it. the content words according to Edmund Quir, 1985, in his book Understanding English Grammar, there are four criteria to be said as adjectives. The first thing is that adjective has attributive functions. We know attributive. Attributive means signal or to indicate something, like I gave a sentence there, an ugly painter. Ugly is attributed. The next one is predicative function. Like there, the book is thick. The lady is beautiful, for example. And the third point is that adjective can be pre-modified by intensifier, adverb in English like ER or EST, more or the most. Um, in Tuba Bata language, as I found, there are some intensifying adverbs that can be used in Tuba Bata language to show that a word is adjective. For example, the word Masai. So any adjective in Tuba Bata language can be preceded by the word Masai. For example, Masai Bagat, Masai Nile, Masai Okik. We can also say Masai Kursi, Masai Neja. Masai laptop, Masai gambar, no way. And then here, yeah, number four, adjectives can be used to show comparative form and also superlative form. Those are the issues according to regular print research in English language. Now, with gradable adjectives, gradable adjectives means that the adjectives can be used to show grade. This is low level, this is higher level, and this is very high level. And there is another one, the same level. Here it is. Comparison to a lower degree, to the same degree, and to a higher degree. Now here, according to my study, I have grouped my data into 11 classifications. How did I group my data? I group my data based on my, the similar affixes attached to the base adjectives. The first classification is with prefix boom plus initial power. And the next is with prefix boom plus initial B like umbalga. We write umbalga but we pronounce umbalga. The next four, three is Prefix um plus prefix um is changed or modified, it becomes um. 
and then the entire classification for prefix form becomes ur like in uringas not unringas not umringas but uringas uroa urara and so on and the entire classification implied is infix form like dumao derives from dao plus suffix um becomes dumao kumaga derives from the word gaga plus infix form becomes Gumaga, meaning product. And now here, data classification F, adjective base plus suffix an, like asom plus an becomes asoman, summer. LS an, LS plus suffix an becomes LS, means like that, and so on. And data classification G, convex um an. Yeah? Convex um an with medek becomes medekan, meaning smaller, and so on. Data classification is eight, yeah. Convex um an again, but with different initial poneme of the base adjectives. Like, bomak plus convex um an becomes ubomak. Pisuk becomes upisuman, and so on. Data classification 9, convex um an with initial ponim R. Rara plus um an becomes urrara an. Rata, urrata an. Ribu, urriburan. Classification 10, prefix um. Convex um an with initial vowel like J, N, S, and T. So here, yeah, there is a modification again. We write unjoloan, but we pronounce usoloan. Unena, unena. Unsagata, we pronounce usagata. So, the last classification is with pre-modifier na plus prefix kum plus base adjectives like <coughs> na umuli. First, I have told you umuli derives from um plus muli. So, we added the pre-modifier na becomes na umuli, meaning the most beautiful. And here, balga plus um becomes balga, and we add again, pre modifier na becomes na balga, meaning the biggest. And here is the findings and discussion. Based on my analysis, I have some findings here. First, phoneme M in prefix um is double. If the first poem of the base adjective is followed, like yes, prefix um plus yes, not umias but umias, so the vowel m is doubled. And based on classification B and C, poem m of the prefix um is dropped. Why? Because there is an arm of process here. For example. Plus balga, not um balga. What's the word I said? Um plus balga, not um balga, but um balga. Poning M of the prefix um is strong and is replaced by the first poning of the base adjective, power B. Um plus porlu, not um porlu, but um porlu. The next one, morphological and phonological change also occur if the base adjectives are preceded by point B. I told you, and like Balga, Ujepek, Ululut, Usarap, Utipo. And then, based on classification D, um becomes Ur, double R. Classification E and F, there's no change either morphologically or phonologically. And according to classifications G, H, I, and J, the same change morphologically or phonologically occur if prefix um or convex uman is attached to base adjective. This is the last findings. Pre-modifier now is written separately from modified adjectives in comparative form particularly the prefix. To refer to my conclusion, 
There are seven adjective and affixations in Togo Batan language. First, I found one prefix, that is prefix um. Two, one suffix, that is suffix an. Three, four confixes. Confix ma si, confix ha asa, confix ma pu, and sa plus full replication of base adjectives na. And among all, there is one affix, that is affix o. The results of the adjective and affixations are inflectional, meaning that there is no change of the class word even if we attach confix, infix, prefix, or suffix to base adjectives. They still stay the same word class or the same paraphrase. And the attachments of prefix um, infix um, suffix an, and confix um an to base adjectives we form comparative form like balga umbalga bigger, jetpack um jetpack smaller, balga umbalga more beautiful, etc. And here, last one, prefix O and convex O and which are attached to base adjectives undergo more morphonomic processes. O becomes O double M, O becomes O, O becomes O with their variation. Attaching prefix um and suffix an to base adjectives will not undergo any changes. That's all my presentations. Thank you very much. <coughs> Yours.